Hello, welcome to the channel. Quirkies and I hope you're having an amazing day. However, even if it was a little rough, take a minute and come and learn with us. We know a lot about economics and we wanna share our knowledge with you. You might know a little or a lot, but regardless, you are welcome. Even if it's just to see the cute corgis. Don't forget to watch out for Gary and Sebastian and let us know where you spotted them this time. Today we are discussing the concept of opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is a valuable tool in economics that you use every day, possibly without even realizing it. Today we will teach you more about this concept and how we can use it to make the best choices possible. This video introduces opportunity cost. We will go into greater detail on the concept in later videos. Let me introduce you to Cricket and Gus, who will tell you more about it. Cricket is a mix between a Pembroke Welsh Corgi and a Cardigan Welsh Corgi, and she loves to catch, pull on sleeves, and it's a healthy, or perhaps unhealthy, relationship with food. She's a year and a half years old. Gus is a full Pembroke Welsh Corgi, and he is eight months old. He loves to play fetch, spin in circles, and chase room-like objects. We're Cricket and Gus, Cricket and Gus, come on and learn with us, yeah! In economics, because of scarcity, we have to make choices. Every choice involves an opportunity cost. Let's have Gus define it. Opportunity cost is defined as the value of the next best foregone alternative. Huh? What does that mean? Let me explain. Remember how we talked about what economics is? Yeah. We talked about how it studies how we use scarce resources to satisfy our unlimited wants, right? Yep, exactly. How does that definition apply here? Well, because of scarcity, we must make choices. And? And every choice we make involves a cost. Okay, but the definition doesn't even talk about cost. Not directly, but when we talk about our wants exceeding what we have, that implies we have to give up something to get something else. That's opportunity cost. Why don't we just say that then? No idea. I'm just a dog. What's this next best foregone alternative thing then? Oh, that. That's just another way of saying that when we make a choice, we need to consider what we are giving up to make that choice. Okay, but what about the next best part? Well, when we make a choice, there are many, many possible things we can do instead. Like what? Like when we are deciding what to do after mom gets home from work. We could go for a walk, play fetch, eat dinner, play fetch, sleep. Did I mention we could play fetch? You did. A few times. Looks like there are a lot of things we can do. There are, but it would be impossible for us to do all those other things in the limited time we have available. It makes me tired just thinking about it. Me too. To figure out the cost of the choice we make, we must determine what we would actually do if we didn't make that choice. In other words, we need to figure out our second choice. That's what we're really giving up, so that's our opportunity cost. I'm confused. Can you give me an example? Sure. Remember our cousin Augie? Isn't she half Corgi and half Mini Aussie? That's right. Well, suppose Augie only gets a $1 allowance to spend on treats per day. That hardly seems fair, but go on. Augie knows that a treat, regardless of flavor, costs $1 per treat. Since she only gets $1 and a treat costs $1, she can only choose one treat per day. The choices available are bacon, cheese, chicken, and beef. Suppose that Augie wants bacon today, but if bacon wasn't available, she would next choose cheese, then chicken, then beef. Does that mean cheese is Augie's next best alternative? Yes, the cheese is the next best alternative because that is what she would choose instead. So when Augie spends $1 on a bacon treat, the opportunity cost of that decision is the cheese treat she foregoes. What about the chicken and beef? Isn't she giving them up too? 
It's true that she's not choosing the chicken and beef, but she's really not giving them up. You see, if she didn't choose the bacon, she couldn't have cheese and chicken and beef. She can only have her second choice. She only has that $1 to spend, so she can't afford all of the other choices. All this talk of food is distracting. What is opportunity cost again? I forgot. Opportunity cost is the value of the next best foregone alternative. You can also think of it as the cost of giving up the next best opportunity or next best use of your time and money. I see, but what is it used for? Well, we calculate opportunity cost every day, multiple times a day. I don't remember doing math today. But you did. You just may not realize it. Really? How? Well, for any decision we make, we internally calculate the opportunity cost of it. Can you give another example? Sure. When you choose to eat dinner instead of sleeping at 5 o'clock, you are weighing the opportunity cost. Weighing? You are comparing the cost of giving up another hour of sleep with the cost of being extra hungry in an hour. We can't have that. Exactly. Because of that, the opportunity cost of eating dinner now is giving up an extra hour of sleep. That is your opportunity cost because that is your next best alternative use of your time. You mean you might have a different opportunity cost of eating dinner now? What would you do instead of eating dinner? I don't know. Play fetch, run in circles, bark at squirrels. Oh, we're on the tussum, a palm tree. But I would most likely want to play fetch outside more than all of the other options. Does that mean your opportunity cost of eating dinner now is the time you could play fetch outside? Yep. But I make choices all of the time. Am I calculating opportunity costs all the time? Yes, actually. With every choice we make, there is an associated opportunity cost. Every waking hour, we decide how to spend our time. To help figure out what to do, we calculate the opportunity cost. Wow, so I really do math every day? Yep, although we don't always count it out by hand or by paw, there are many instances where we do. When do we do that? Well, sometimes when we make big decisions, we have to calculate the opportunity cost more carefully. Oh, can you give an example? Like when one of our friends decides whether to get a new job. How do we use opportunity cost there? Hmm. We might treat the salary or wage we earn at our current job as part of the opportunity cost. What about other aspects of the job? Yep, we include those too. For example, we give up the health and retirement benefits at our current job for our new job. Things like closeness to family might matter too. How do we measure the value of being closer to family? That's pretty tough because everyone values that differently. It sounds tough. I don't think we can measure that. It would be difficult, but the friend looking for a new job will be able to decide what it is worth to them. Some people might be willing to move across the country to make $10,000 more per year. Others wouldn't move away from family for $100,000 more per year. Regardless, moving away from family might be the cost, an opportunity cost, of getting a job that pays more. Hmm, I guess. Once we calculate all the benefits and salary and stuff for the current job, what do we do then? We can then compare that with the salary, benefits, etc of the new job and decide which we like better. The opportunity cost of the new job and all that goes with it is what we would give up from our old job. Cool, so we use opportunity cost for a lot of big decisions. Most definitely, for decisions big and small, it is very helpful. For example, you could use opportunity cost to help decide whether to get a new puppy. I don't want another sibling. You're bad enough as it is. Sure. Then maybe your opportunity cost of getting a new sibling is the free time you give up by entertaining a puppy. Oh, I can think of a few possibilities, although the next best alternative might be tough. Now you have a basic understanding of opportunity cost. In a future video, we give more examples using a bit of math. Remember, 
opportunity cost is the value of the next best foregone alternative or the cost of giving up the next best opportunity. An understanding of opportunity cost is crucial for making the best decisions possible. Can you think of a decision you made recently where you applied whether intentionally or unintentionally the concept of opportunity cost? Feel free to share your examples in the comments below. Gus and I would love to hear what you came up with. If you have questions or have ideas for more topics we can cover, feel free to share them in the comments below. We want to learn more about you. Please join us for future videos to learn more about Cricket and Gus, learn some economics, and overall have a great time. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But I make choices all the time. Am I calculating the opportunity cost all the time? <laughs> yes, actually. With every choice we make, there is an associated opportunity cost. Every waking hour we decide how to spend our time. To help figure out what to do, we calculate the opportunity cost. I don't want another sibling. You're bad enough as it is. <laughs> okay. You ready? Sure. May then maybe your opportunity cost of getting a new sibling. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think Bailey's quite ready yet. Definitely not.